Good day, grade 12. Welcome to lesson number 63 from uh, my textbook, The Distinction of Our Students. So we have grade 12, we have grade 11, and we have grade 10. Oh yes, I'm still a fan, even though we lose sometimes. Right, uh, in this lesson, we are talking about output of the industry. Okay, so here we are saying how much does the, in the, uh, the industry produce as a whole. And uh, in this case, you can see uh, let's say I give you a new page. All right, this is our industry. Uh, the demand curve is downward sloping, and the supply curve. Okay. So depending on what is going on, um, maybe okay. Sometimes it's seasons. Depending on the season, uh, some farmers have to uh, firms have to probably produce more of. A certain item and but mainly if I say depending on what's going on with every individual producer firms could enter or exit an industry so when firms are making economic profit for example you see such a shift and you'll see something like this supply increases as it shifts to the right okay you see supply curve so we have a new demand curve so we have a new quantity and a new price so in this case you see price goes down and price and quantity goes up we have another possibility which is maybe demand demand can shift to the right okay so this then becomes our d1 d1 so now i'm going to ignore the, 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 the supply curve, the second one. Yeah? Now, if I ignore it, then the, 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 the supply curve I'm using in this case is this one. So you see, if the demand shifts to the right, price goes up. Okay, so we have many things that can happen. Another thing that can happen is supply maybe can decrease. So it's supply shifting to the left. Okay. Sorry, uh, my graph is becoming too congested and so on. So you see, if supply shifts to the right, it takes this price, the same as this one. Okay, in an exam, you won't ever draw such a graph because I'm just drawing it to explain a concept. Né? But let me keep it simple and let me take you back to this one. So uh, supply shifting to the right, this shows that there's an increase in supply as new firms enter. Why would they enter? If there is the, if there is anything that is attracting firms to an industry uh, of this nature, they will enter, and uh, that entry is free. So it, it, it's 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 obvious that they will enter because there is that freedom. Okay, and in this case, okay, this graph here is showing uh, what are the possibilities then to that individual firm when uh, firms enter an industry. All right, so I think I'll have to draw them next to each other. But uh, I'll, I'll proceed, I'll, I'll explain this concept again in future lessons. In this one, I'm just going to go fast because it's not as important yet, okay? So this is our supply curve, that's our demand curve, and this becomes our quantity, this is our price. So you are a price taker. So now, what I want to show is what happens with the individual firm. So the firm is taking the market price. This is the D is equal to AR, which is MR. And this is our marginal cost curve. And this is our quantity. Right. Now, let's assume we have this kind of a scenario, which is weird at the moment because you don't know what kind of scenario is this. And I'm not going to explain it yet. You will see in future lessons. Okay. This will be our price. So what we call this kind of a scenario is it's an economic profit. So this attracts firms to enter the industry. And so when those firms are attracted, they do enter because they don't have that restriction. They are allowed to enter because entry is free. So when new firms enter the industry, supply increases. So this represents, because this is zero, right? As we, as we go to the right, it's increasing. Whatever it is that goes to the right is increasing. If it goes to the left, it's decreasing. So this goes there, it's decreasing of the demand curve. If the demand curve goes there, it's increasing. 
same applies supply supply all right so this kind of a scenario causes firms to enter so when they enter supply shifts to the right and when it does price decreases this is our new price p1 and quantity for the entire industry increases to q1 so you are a price taker so you will take this market price so you see in that sense your d is equal to ar is there now so you 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 the price goes down this is what we call normal profit we'll explain it in the next lessons so this particular lesson um just trying to explain um you can see the difference here yes output for an industry and output for an individual so output for an individual can decrease when that thing i was explaining happens now i explained point a point a is our profit maximizing point because that is where mc meets mr and then point b is the new profit maximizing point if the price goes down because uh, that is where mc the same curve intersects the new mr all right so uh it's being explained here the profit maximizing point again mc is equal to mr so our activity for the day is quite simple you must give a formula for each and every one of these and you must also describe it so we have total cost what is it fixed cost variable cost average total cost average fixed cost average variable cost and marginal cost now average total cost is the same as saying average cost okay so thank you so much that was lesson number 63 i'll see you in lesson number 64 enjoy your day Thank you.